Hey people, Intro here, 3v3, Katrin Purification Plant Blue Team. Claw is a Plague Champion that starts off with the damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support alongside some Eldar friends. It's Dractan with a Farseer, support hero fighting in melee with some powerful buffs and controls sprinting around there with a fleet. And rather than off this team is Bobby Brown as a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that leaps into combat with some powerful disruption and support. Red team, it's Space Marines all the way down. Rambo with a Force Commander, very strong offense, versatile hero also brings support and disruption. And alongside double Apothecary time, here's Overtly Generous. And we have Paranoid Kamikaze, these guys are support heroes fighting in melee by default, begin with the heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Paranoid rocking the Dark Angels DLC recolored. Looks like the Farseer and the Apothecary are going to meet in the mid, the two support heroes. Guide popped on those Guardians for some extra DPS and extra range, 30% more of each. Where are the Banshees? They are capping right now. Tactical Marines are trying to force melee combat on those Guardians who dropped all but one model. Already some really good work from those guys. Not sure what the Apothecary is up to. Just hanging out over here. Banshees are in. Those power melee weapons doing 30% more damage to heavy infantry armor. The heal is available though, gonna need it. There's the heal. Attacks getting knocked over and there's a very vital special attack from the Apothecary. Meanwhile, Bobby Brown's Banshees are gonna wipe, I think. Smack. Some Bolt of Fire should get it done. It's gonna be close, one hit point. Can they hit? They can hit. And those Banshees wipe on the west side from Bobby Brown. Will they be replaced against the Force Commander? Some stuff dying on the eastern edge too. But the carry of Paranoid is very low. There's that health regen or those green hexagons there. Maybe they could heal each other? Nope. Farsia pokes the apothecary to death. And scouts run away. Might get a revive here immediately from Overtly Gemerous. Some gens going up. Double CSM is that from Core? It is. Shotgun blast we saw, I think, from Overtly Gemerous. Yeah, shotguns are in. I think that's what saved his tactical marines from the Banshees after that special attack went in. But the carry of Avert that he barely gets away. Some Nurgly worship, or Nurglite worship, I think you meant to say. And maybe they can push down the east side onto the power. Devastators to shut down the double CSM. We could get grenade launchers in response. We could get some raptors, which is always fun. Rambo locking down the west side for now. We've got rangers in play though. Sniper support infantry there from Bobby Brown and he did get some more Howling Banshees up. Force Commander killed that fella, then popped the Battlecry and then ran away. I don't think the Banshees can catch him for a hit. They won't get him in a way. East side is turning blue, kind of slowly though. And we do have Grenade Launcher Heretics already. I don't think they've seen the Devastators yet. Here they are. No shotguns. Plague Champion almost got the decal, that was so close. Probably well judged though, I don't think they could have got it safely. Scouts of Overtly on the VP, we see this so often from Overtly Generous using their scouts very well in a 3v3 to get those decaps and fighting so much stuff with just an Apothecary and a Tactical Marine Squad. And then often rushing tier three, we'll see if it goes like that in this game. Maybe they can put some pressure on. Assault squad on the field for Rambo. Jump troops that disrupt when they land on you. Warlock just jumped and knocked them all over. Howling Banshees on the prowl. Another special attack. They did kill one of the rangers. Don't want to stay in here too long. There's the jump. Just to annoy those guys. I'll make it so they can't chuck a retreat grenade perhaps. Instead they just fleet away. Can they get a model off these guys? Where's the force commander anyway? Here he's over there. East side. They're kind of sat on the power here, both the Apothecary players. You have a customized Storm Bolter for Overtly Generous. And Purification Rites are in. And there's a Flamer. Heal for the Tactical Marines as well. I think they both healed them. They really need to get them here. If I get them, I mean pressure the Apothecaries. The Devastators are covering though. They don't have any Rangers. Tactical Marines very lucky to get away with two models. Grenade attempted. Oh, it's going for the devs, not the, not the tacks. It's a good grenade though. Killed one. We saw the full auto to try and shut down that grenade throw, I think. Didn't quite work. You need to be very specific to what model you hit. 
I don't think it's possible to tell which model will chuck the grenade. More scout decapping from overtly generous. These fully upgraded scouts now with shotgun, sergeant, and elite training. Got a decap. Farseer sees them off. Does have the spirit stones for the AoE heal. And restores energy, doesn't it? Yeah. Big old heal and stuff on that thing. We have fully upgraded scouts for Rambo too. And a merciless Witchblade Warlock. Awesome weapon, pretty expensive. But you get really big damage bursts. Knock back on ranged attacks and it drains energy, which is bad news for jump troops. Those guys dropped to model and then jumped in with Banshees on the crowd. Banshees should have been closer there, I think. Didn't want to get them knocked over, I guess, but they were kind of far away. They did drop another model, though. So they should be able to mop up here. Here come more Banshees as well from Draktan. There's the Ranger Kinetic Pulse knocking over the Tactical Marine, setting up a Banshee push. Force Commander still giving chase. Scouts are barely going to make it out, I think. Can these Banshees get onto them? so close to getting them. The Scout Sergeant has two hit points and does make it away, I think. Yeah, Eldar sidearms aren't great. Banshees don't have good pistols. Double Apothecary for Claw to deal with again, so they're 2v1 both sides. They need to bash the powers if they can. Blue team are held up, grabbing the VP and stuff though. Is this Scouts again? Yep, yeah, overtly on the VP again with the Scouts and overtly go straight to tier 2. Double Assault Marines for Rambo. Awesome to see. Triple CSM for Claw. I wonder if that was intended. Against Devastators, you wouldn't think so. I wonder if that was a mistake. It's a nice grenade. Set up by the suppression. Couldn't quite hit it flush though. These CSM in trouble. Plague Champion does fire normally under suppression. Also doesn't get slowed down as much, although he starts off pretty slow. But yeah, functions great under suppression. Can often just outshoot a setup team. Double grenades that's gonna wipe them, I think. Yes, it does. Nicely done by Draktan. Nicely done. Are they gonna replace them? No paranoid tier two already. Whirlwind on the way. I thought overtly did a did a quick tier one. They did spend on their infantry sergeant on the way. This what they carry goes down. That was overtly generous. Might be tough to revive, but they could throw out a heal and revive that way. There it is. Just use it to revive. Don't get the XP that way, but it's a great option. And they went down again, though. I think overtly healed this apothecary back, which is why those guys were knocked over. That was purification rights, and then just stayed in play a little bit too long. Some tactical marines dropped in by a paranoid kamikaze. Straight into the wrath of a Farseer. Rangers on capping duty. Rambo pushing through the west side pretty aggressively. Double Assault Marines, not easy to deal with. Noise Marines on the field for Claw. Draktan and Bobby Brown both going tier 2. Late? Oh, maybe not. Draktan was before Rambo. What can the Warlock do here? Pops on the Champion's Robe, Psychic Shield. Everything runs. Any grenades in retreat path? I don't think so. Just going to be tough now. Because they're going to jump the Shuriken. They'll counter initiate and then they'll jump again and then the foot and then the force commander can come in. Pop the battle cry, that's more disruption. Wraith Lord perhaps. Might be Wraith Lord time. Could of course go Dark Creepers and just try to keep them split. Punish the jumps when they can. A Virtue Generous now comes to the west side to try and retain this VP. But they do have Banshees chasing. Almost got grenaded by their own Eldar buddies there. 369 to 449. Shut down by the Guardian Weapon team, but then full auto on the platform shuts that down. We do have armor of the Apothecary and heal goes out with big specials from the Banshees. I don't think they, they don't have their Exarch, but they are in there. Got one model. Warlock might be able to get another. They got two models, in fact. Grenades little bit early but they do wipe out the tactical marines those guys are fully upgraded and they got them overtly is down to a single scout squad nice indeed that was Draktan's grenades again and some good grenade work so far assault squad was so close to perhaps jumping them and saving them too jumping the guardians and saving attacks I mean there's a big old jump 
should have staggered it, I think, for, for training the knockback, but just wanted to get in there and smack some stuff, I suppose, for the Emperor and all that. Banshee's in there with the X-Arc, though, and that fancy spear. Here comes the Whirlwind. Just Rambo's Whirlwind, so there's two on the field, I suppose, unless... Yeah, Paranoid still has it. What is Overtly going to do now? Just go Tier 3 with Scouts? They could try it, but they're still harassing this VP. I think they have a VP League just because of that. Although Rambo has held the west side pretty well, actually. Level 2 Apothecary for Paranoid Kamikaze, what's he up to? Oh, he's getting into melee with the Heretics. Here comes CSM, no upgrades for these guys yet, but it has allowed Claw to get to Tier 3. Pops to Tier 3 first, double Dark Creepers now for Bobby Brown. These guys with Inferno PvP damage, extra versus heavy and super heavy infantry. Pretty good versus heroes as well. Warlock is doing some work with that Merciless Switchblade. Being pretty merciless. Those guys flee. Whirlwind with a disruption. Not very accurate, but can disrupt entire armies when he gets a good shot in. Overtly thinks again about trying to cap. Rangers get their VP back. Oh, they actually got the cap there, the, the scouts, not just the decap. 335433. Three, three, three. Can they put pressure onto the Whirlwind here? Don't see any anti vehicle units. I mean, the Blastmaster would hurt a vehicle if it can hit it, but it's not really an anti-vehicle unit. It's got an anti-vehicle damage type. Got some Fire Dragons from Draktan. Farseer with a bunch of... War Gear, Gravity Blade. We've got the Rune Armor for Psychic Storm as well. Spirit Stones can throw the guide onto the Fire Dragons, of course. West Side, what's going on? A little bit sloppy from Bobby Brown, keeping the Dark Creepers that close to each other. And now we have a... Thunderhammer Force Commander too might be able to get the teleporter rolling. Really mess up those Dark Creepers. I feel like they should have got a single Dark Creeper and an Array Ford maybe. But they just lost some Guardians I believe. East side what's going on? We have some hidden Banshees and Fire Dragons thanks to a Webway. That's in base I guess. Farseer Webways can infiltrate units. They scared off some stuff but they did not push for the Whirlwind. This whirlwind of Rambo is really far forward and they're bashing power. Of course, Commander being shot up by the Dark Creepers, but does have light cover there. Here comes the Warlock. Knocks over two of them. Drains the energy, does chunks of damage. Here comes the Farseer too. Everything's converging on the Assault Marines. Rambo needs to be careful. Jumps them out, they should be okay. I don't think those Guardians can get close enough for grenades, and no, they can't. Can they get onto the whirlwind though? It's not very quick, and the Force Commander goes down a little bit sloppy from Rambo. Land Red of Phobos on the way for Claw. Really? What's their red like? 272, I guess they could have got Terminators up. And it is a Wraith Lord for Bobby Brown. It has a double Dark Creepers and a Wraith Lord. It has stuck them in Tier 2 for the foreseeable future, and Gemerist, overtly Gemerist, did indeed go Tier 3 with Scouts on the field. Where's the Apothecary? What is he doing? Sprinting around. On the, on the east side. They've got a two, 2v1 here. They need to get onto the power. They need to bash that power completely. Banshees. The Exarch Spear is a heavy melee weapon. Fire Dragon's giving chase. And there's Guide as well. And they get it. Well, wind is down. And they now punish these Assault Marines. The Wraith Lord is coming in. Has a bright light shoulder mounted. Phobos just hit the field. Grenades. Good grenades, weird retreat from the Assault Marines. Can they get away? They do barely get away. Maybe a bit lucky, but also a bit unlucky with that weird retreat path thing that happened there. Of course, Commander's having a good time in amongst the Guardians. Doesn't want to fight a Wraith Lord, though, with the Thunder Hammer. Trying to get after the Dark Creepers. Needs to try and split them a little bit more. Maybe the Warlock can knock him down, though. Battle Cry is active. Just smacked him back on his ass, the, the warlock. He got back up though, he's giving chase. 295 to 393, Rambo at least broke out but couldn't make any headway. We have Rangers again having to get this VP back. 290 to 393, the Phobos has taken some damage. Has side mounted twin linked LAS cannons. And those sponsors there. Twin linked heavy bolter and a combi bolter on top also a demon these days. Cyclone missile to terminate as though I assume got a bunch of damage on that thing. From a 
inverted generous. There's the levitation. I think it does power melee damage, doesn't it, when it, when it throws you back? Yeah, 50. It's alright. That's it. Put the pressure on the apothecary. Don't let him stand around and throw our heals unopposed. Terminators have used their teleport. These guys can't retreat. And Fire Dragon do extra damage versus the super heavy infantry of them. Out, Cyclone Missile Launcher just stood there and took it. Banshee's now giving chase. I think they should get at least one model here. We've got double Sniper Scouts from Paranoid. Okay. Whirlwind helping. That might be enough to stop a model being lost. That really disrupted the hell out of the Banshees and the Exarch is hanging out. Okay, it's enough, I think. Yep, they're backing off. West side, what's going on? It's blue for now. We have some Vanguard veterans for Rambo. First company of submarines with power melee weapons. They also have opted to get the power fist in there, replacing the Thunder Hammer for some anti-vehicle utility. Do you guys have... Oh, these guys don't have a melter bar. No, it's on the way. And Stern Guard with Vengeance rounds loaded in for anti-vehicle. So the Wraith Lord is under pressure, but they have a lot of anti-infantry stuff here. The Warlock himself could shut down the Stern Guard. Just using the ranged attack here to knock stuff over. There's a jump. Melter Bomb goes in, but I don't want to melee the Wraith Lord. Warlock puts his champion's robe up and a full retreat there from Bobby Brown. Should not have mass retreated, and maybe that was a, mis a misclick or something. Wraith Lord's now in trouble with no support. Well, only the Warlock. And I've got a sound bug. Awesome. I'll see you in a second. And we're back. Can the Wraith Lord survive? I'm going to say no. Stern God is still being chased around. But that guy does have a power fist and the power melee will do some damage. Wraith Lord is indeed down. I didn't spot, by the way, while I was getting back to this replay point, that Claw did indeed overwatch the triple CSM. I feel their pain. For those of you that didn't spot it like me. Those that they've lost one of them, though. Is this Terminators? Nope, it's a drop pod with more Marines, I guess. Oh, it's a reinforcement drop pod from Rambo. I was wrong twice. There's a lot of Marines in one big blob here, all being supported by that Apothecary Force Barrier as well. See a council on the field for Draktan. Bobby Brown does go Tier 3. Do we see any marks on those CSM? Yes, Mark of Zinch on one of them, who needs reinforcing. These scouts continue to harass the VP. Can they kill one of them? They can't even kill one cleanly. Where are the grenades? Uh, oh, the librarian, I think, got them away. Yeah, the librarian saved them. I don't, I don't think they would have been wiped, but they would have lost maybe another model. Destroying the drop pod, there we go. 278 of 359. How's that Land Raider Phobos doing? It's all right. I don't think it's... I think it should be on the west side, maybe. Oh, we do have a tank and a whirlwind over here, so maybe they want that Phobos to deter those guys just pushing the power. Levitation field doesn't hit the Vanguard, but it did make them run away before she even used it. And Eldar are going to retake the west side. There's no gates over here, although they will be spotted by the scouts. Librarian now on the VP. Overtly just doesn't leave it alone. Any more marks for you fellas? Nope, they are reinforced though. No sign of aspiring champions either. The sniper scouts might be able to trade okay with them if they shoot and move. Getting some vision on the Phobos's position and getting some vision for the whirlwind too. Good disruption. Seer Council are going to be deadly for any Marines or Terminators that they run into, unless they are Lightning Claw Terminators, of course. Speaking of Claw, and potentially Lightning Claws, Claw has some Chaos Terminators there. Storm Bolters, sorry, Combi Bolters and Power Fists. Storm Bolters are Loyalist only. 263 to 346, going for a bit of a flank. But it's Whirlwind time. Notice that the Fire Dragons were not knocked over there because of their dragon scale armor. Pretty cool. Cyclone missile launcher should be dodged, I think, as it gets very wide at its maximum distance like that. Rambo's having a go on the VP. Dark Creepers raining in those Inferno bolts, though. 
I believe they're like aren't they Tempest missile launchers or something. They're called. The weapons that they use. 263 to 324. When I say Inferno bolts, I'm referring to the damage type. Draktan having to dance between the west and mid. Now might be able to get a really good flank on overtly. The Phobos is pushing. Getting some good shots on the Predator tank. There isn't any other anti-vehicle here. Yeah, the tactical marines are both with plasma guns. Well, here's some. Overtly generous with the cyclone missile launcher barrage. Track 10 getting around the back. Banshees are on the apothecary. Not sure where he's going. He's gonna go down maybe. He's able to survive it. Level 5 gets away. Can the Terminator survive it though? Have they already teleported? The Phobos turns its attention to the Predator tank and we also have a Reaper Auto Cannon Chaos Terminator squad. And the Blastmaster gets the hit. Remember, remember what I said? They weren't reliable anti-vehicle. Well, they got it done. Down goes the Whirlwind as well. This is a good push from the blue team. They champion with the Plague Fist and Armor of Pestilence. Really good flank from Draktan to set that all up. Here comes Rambo for the 3v2. Bobby Brown needs to push the west side. Draktan letting him know that there's three here. We'll see how they respond to the Banshee's escape of Draktan. They do barely, just the Exarch lives. There's the Pestilent Strike of the Plague Champion to make sure they get this decap. Gives 80% range damage reduction. Or is it 90? It's a lot. Yeah, 90%. Great capping tool, and Bobby Brown does indeed get straight onto the power. And I imagine gets a full bash. See a council hanging out. Waiting for anything to approach. Shuriken backing off because it knows it's going to get jumped at some point. Seer Council can counter initiate really well. These are Bobby Brown's Seer Council. And the Warlock has Falchu's wing to buff the crap out of them. Plus two speed and 25% damage. There it is. Falchu's wing is in. Enhance is the name of the actual ability. They're going to tear apart those Marines, but here's the shotgun blast we saw there. There is a Thunderhammer too to disrupt. It's a very brave jump from these Assault Marines. You see a Council R being knocked around by the Force Command. You can see the damage those Seer Council were doing there. Dark Creepers staying in play, doing a good job. Getting some good damage. Can the Seer Council get out safely here? Because it took a lot of damage being knocked around. They only dropped two models. 500 hit points per model, those guys at level 1. Vanguard veterans may be lucky to get, away, to get away with two models. Here's a Land Raider Redeemer for Rambo. An amazing support vehicle allows you to reinforce and retreat back to it. With some health region aura and some powerful close range weapons as well as long range assault cannon. Who went down over here? Oh, the Farsi went down. Track Town's done really well so far. Level 5 and down though. Oh, double Land Raider Redeemer time, is it? We do have a Fire Prism for Draktan, and both Eldar players, well, Bobby Brown can drop an Eldritch. Draktan is quite close to dropping an Eldritch. I wonder if Claw can get revived using the Fist. They do have Armor of Pestilence with a not weapon knockback immunity as well. So it gives them Aura of Decay. Cyclone Miss Launcher going for a lucky punt against the Fire Prism. Couldn't quite get it done. Can they get one of these land raiders down quickly? They champion. Pestilent strike or not, just got las cannoned to the jaw several times. And red team have taken the west side back. Overtly happy to just drive this thing through the middle immediately. And just park it here. Fire prism's getting very close to stuff. There's the time field. Bobby Brown did not use the nuke. Drak 10 does not have it yet. Need 500 red to drop it. There's guide on the fire dragons. See a council can go after the terminators. This thing does not have a bright lance. Can't suppress the terminators either. Just to be careful. There's the frag assault. Ouch! That was sloppy from Bobby Brown. Didn't need to retreat the seer council either. Kind of left Dragtan alone here, and there's an orbital. 
it's enough to save it at the very least. It might even wipe those fire dragons. They need to retreat to stop this damage. I think they've been thrown clear. There's the retreat. Should have done it earlier. 216 to 268. Pushing the east side. This claw needs to be a little bit more aggressively going after this VP, I think. Speaking of going after the VP, is that what you, what you guys were doing? Maybe. Rambo, no sorry, Overtly Generous has pushed all the way up onto the PAL with the Land Raider. They do seem to be very, very haphazard with their Land Raiders, Overtly Generous. They seem to be very careful with everything else. But as soon as they get a Land Raider, they push it really hard. I mean, it is pinning back the blue team. Well timed shotgun blast there. And there isn't a huge amount of anti vehicle. Here come the Fire Dragons, though. And there's the time field. Where's the guide? And as the Eldritch, this is a goner. Down it goes. I don't think they actually needed the Eldritch there. That was Dractan's Eldritch as well, so Bobby Brown still has one. I don't think they needed it. I think Guide on the Fire Dragons with the time field would have been enough, but Fire Prism was also there, of course. Where is Dractan's Fire Prism? Maybe getting repaired up a bit. Yeah, they can't push immediately, though, because there's a lot of stuff here. Double Terminators for Overtly Generous. Rambo has Stone Guard, Vanguard, Predator Tank, and the Land Raider Redeemer. They still have another one to deal with. They do have another Eldritch in their back pocket though as well. And Claw still has the Phobos, which I feel like should be on the west side. He's fighting two tanks on the east side though. That's why they want to keep there, I think. Otherwise the power gets hit. Is there going to be a big push from the red team, maybe they can get the power down. Scouts again on the VP. So annoying to fight against. 174 to 262. Warlock comes flying in. Only level 4. How's it going? He's fleeting away to the VP to try and get a decap. Force Commander gives chase. The Predator tank of Rambo getting way too close to Fire Dragons. With the time field and stuff. They got the Fire Prism though. They did get the fire prison. It also got got itself. Scouts again. Escape. Of course they do. Been pinned back for a while here, the blue team. The warlock did get a decap but went down. Not sure if that was worth it. That warlock can still do a lot of work with his wall here. Stern guard being ripped apart by the dark reapers and they go down. Nice shooting. Did the Rangers just wipe? I think the Rangers just wiped. Yeah, those are Bobby Brown's Rangers. He's been a little bit sloppy with his Dark Creepers throughout so far, Bobby Brown. Hasn't been quick enough to split them, to move them. I mean, it's, it's so tempting, though, with Dark Creepers just to plant their feet and get shooting. Eldritch, was that a little bit premature? Can they follow this up? I don't know if they can. Where are the fire dragons? They're off the field, right? Yeah, they're back here. I think it was a little bit early. They got it down to half. Fire Prism is getting shots in. Dark Creepers won't do much to it. And it's not a Bright Lance. Seer Council obviously can't do much either. Really staggered jump there from the Vanguard veterans. We need to get onto this VP, buddy. Here we go. Mark of Zinc CSM fully upgraded. These guys don't have their aspiring champion yet. Play champion hits level 5. Back at base. Red team retained the west side. 117 to 262. I don't, think they, I don't think they should have Eldritch then. They should have waited for Draktan to be in. Rambo not happy with the pathing of something. Did they lose something else? They lost that tank. I don't think they had anything else. Again, the scouts. on the. They need to keep something here. Might be worth it just... What though? If you keep Guardians here, they're just going to get grenaded or something. Banshees maybe, but that feels like a little bit of a waste. And they'd they they get shotgunned as well. Farsi might go down. Heals herself. There we go. 107 to 262. There's the time field. Terminators are already out of it. Oh, these guys weren't. Five Dragons with that sweet, sweet DPS. I did not see a... F I did not see the... Uh, guide go out. Maybe she didn't have any, any energy left. Claw needs to be careful. This Phobos is really far forward. 
he's taken less kind of hits from the predator tank this one's one shot away from going down though maybe the termination have gone after it is a nuke oh no friendly fire on the eldar though some friendly fire on the eldar and they stopped giving chase the seer council had to get out oh man if the seer council could have flanked there they would have done a lot of damage and down goes the phobos was not a good nuke in the end from claw they have tons of resources though great unclean one nope they're going for another land raider phobos Lake champion eating a full auto aura of the cane knocks stuff over then runs away there's michael Sinch. marines doing some good work there's the heal but look at the damage they're taking level three and level three pin them back and this is decapped here Looting getting their own natural 96 to 242. They got a lot of VPs to make up though. They do have the west side though. Gemerus with another land raider on the way. Don't want to get fixated on it. Triple fire prisms on this side could make it hard to cap, although they won't knock over terminators. I'm gonna try and get this wreck point back, fellas. Requisition is always important. Yeah, it's going to be another Phobos. Are the Terminators reinforced? They are. Just 50 power to reinforce those guys. Big Champion should get an accessory, I think. Get that Mucus Discharge. There's some Nurgle Worship. Power Bash on the west side from the Eldar. Draktan pushing through. Dangerous place to take your Fire Prism, I think. Get some Power Bashing done. There we go. Maybe they could set up a flank if my mouse works. There we go. Mouse is working. 96 to 189. Time field. Terminator's in a bad place. See a council on them. Banshee's potentially on them. No, they're going after the other fellas. There's the teleport. They did get one of the models, though. They can't teleport while they're being time fielded, I guess. Got the carry with the advanced healing, though. Having to run. You don't have it. This guy has armor purity instead. Down goes that apothecary. Big push from the blue team. Tearing through the infantry. Can they get rid of those tanks though? Where are you guys going? Oh, you're paranoids. Here's that third land raider. Second one currently on the field. Very brave jump into into Seer Council and the Warlock. Yeah, immediately got away. But he did set up the Force Commander approach. There's Enhance on the Seer Council. Very disruptive, but it's no longer super, super damaging, that Thunderhammer special. So the Seer Council able to just get up and keep on trucking. Couldn't quite get another decap. The Phobos is in a weird position. What is it up to? I was pushing the tanks and got both of them. Well played, Claw. Well played. There's no anti-vehicle here for Paranoid now. Last Master's getting shots in. But the carry of overtly is being targeted. This single Guardian Warlock. What is he up to? Retreat. There you go. Big champion. Making everything flee. Need to hit your Pestilent Strike, buddy. That's a special. No, runs away. Runs away. Landred Redeemer of Overtly making some moves. West side was decapped. The Warlock with shield up. He's trying to get it. The Fire Prism goes down. A couple of Fire Prisms going down over here, actually. I think one was Dractans and one was Bobby Brown's. Bobby Brown is getting another Fire Prism, though. Got some late game Guardians here to help repair stuff. Need to run. Two to one. They got it, but not for long. And the Warlock might go down yet. Yeah, Warlock goes down. Spending a lot of health getting that VP back that guy. Is that Seer Council of Bobby Brown, level 2. Not a fight that the Vanguard veterans want to take at all. I'm amazed they haven't dropped a model yet. They are level 3. They got away without a model loss, so they did. One of them fell over when they landed, and now they're reinforcing off the Land Raider, of course. Happy to stick in that fight because they know that they can retreat back to the Land Raider that's right there. Heretics are going to wipe. Phobos is being chased. And these guys both have the Cyclone missile launchers. I think it's done for. Yeah, it definitely is. What are they going to get now, Claw? 
I don't think we should get another Phobos because of the double cyclone missile launcher. And here are scouts, of course they are, decapping Eldritch on the land radar. Again, maybe a little bit premature, but they do get a tank and now they can focus on it, maybe. Double fire prisms there. They're going to take out the Force Commander as well as another Eldritch. They've definitely got it now, surely. Down it goes. Double cap though for the Space Marine team and Rambo just lost their entire army. Can they can they turn this around quickly enough, the blue team though? Garcia goes down. See a council in there, but that's a lot of stuff to be in there with. Just saw the purification right to your level 9 above Gary for overtly generous. There's the Dark Creeper Tempest Barrage thing. Uh oh. Fire prisms do not like cyclone missile launchers. Okay. They escaped it. It's a no cap game and an avatar in the field for Dractan. Claw. Gotta spend your resources, buddy. I think they're trying to get a great and clean one, maybe. I think they should get some more Terminators or they don't have the red for it. Terminators teleporting forward aggressively to try and create some space for this cap, I guess. Avatar Wailing Doom. They can't teleport again. Only hit two of them, though. Goes after the Apothecary, does he? What's he up to? They're going after these Terminators. Triple Terminators for overtly generous. Well, why do you need anything else? Just scouts and marines into Terminators and Land Raiders. Does it every time somehow. One to one cap. See, the council just got owned. Can they get away? I think they'll be alright. Here comes Claw. Claw and, and Paranoid were really focused on that east side for ages. Need to be careful not to leave their VP unguarded though. Because look at this. Rambo's not purchasing anything. They have not guarded their VP. Could be a massive mistake. It's going to be a double cap. There's the single. Can they get this other Land Raider down? They're fixating on it a little bit. They are trying to go after the cap here. Oh no, those Dractan has a sound bug, I think. He just said bug. I don't know. Oh, they lost control of the Avatar or something? They did get the Land Raider. The third Land Raider they've taken out. Single cap for the red team. I think they're going to get a 2-1. to one. Can they hold on to it, though? Rambo did get more Terminators. I think it was a sound bug for Dractan. That is really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. This might be Eldar AI we're seeing for Dractan now. I'm not sure. When they dropped, it can take up to a minute to drop from a sound bug. We'll see if we can spot the behavior here. Can the red team hold on? Is that a Eldritch? It is. Angels of Death was popped by the Apothecary. Just readjusts to avoid it. It is another Land Raider Phobos from, from Core, really. There's triple Cyclone Missile Launcher Terminators on the field. Could have got Lightning Claw guys and just tore them apart. I guess it didn't have the red still. I would have got a Grand Clean one, I think. Look at that. Triple Cyclone almost took it out immediately. If they were a little bit closer, it might have. There's another Cyclone here from Kamikaze. I think they're using it. There it is. The Phobos survives somehow. 47 hit points. The Plague Champion can repair. Yep, yeah, looks like Dractan has dropped. Really unfortunate drop. That really sucks. They were playing so well as, as well, Dractan. One of the better players on the field. They've got a decap. That was Kamikaze's double scouts there. One of them did get away, but they only have tactical marines. Not even with a sergeant. Grenade? Where's the rest of the floor stuff? They're in the mid and all that. What's this? Last Master's setting up. He 
Marines are overtly scouts now. It's just a couple of CSM there. Can something get the cap in time? They're going for it. Rambo trying to get some plasma cannon devs on the field. What a time to drop as soon as they wipe Rambo's army. What is the AI doing? The fire prism isn't moving, unfortunately. The avatar is. See, it council, well, most of the stuff just isn't moving. That really sucks. Using a Wrath of Cain in the middle of nowhere, doing nothing. Although, claws in is also up moving over here. There's the two to one. Wailing Doom completely misses everything. Well done, AI. Are they going to attack something at least? Tie something up? Maybe? Yeah, they're attacking something. There we go. Tie something up. 11 to 57 on the VPs. Avatar helps to wipe out those Marines, maybe. Three hit points, they get away. Cyclomis launches searching for fire prisms and gets one. Avatar's getting stuck in. Chaos Terminators are capping. They are going for the natural again, though. It's overtly, yeah, overtly scouts here. Double CSM. We'll start shooting them when they reveal themselves by capping. There's an orbital. Triple plasma cannons for Rambo. Down goes the other fire prism. Terminators are still on it though. Or are they? Where is the plague champion? Oh, he's over here. Oh, he, kept, he grabbed it. Well done, Claw. Might be able to kill one of them. That could be a really vital cap there. There's a Nurglite nuke on the Plasma Devs and also got a Terminator right in the centre and kills it. Good nuke at the end. Bobby Brown's still in play. Level 8 Warlock. Level 3 Seer Council. Could be a vital cap there. A vital cap. Avatar still wandering around. Those guys are still idle. Did the Fire Prism, the fire prism move though? There we go. Never seen the AI just leave stuff idle before. Avatar is going to go down. Unfortunately, what is this? Down Eldritch? Yeah. Trying to get the blob of Terminators there. Got to be really careful when you try to nuke Terminators because of the teleport. Try to time it when you know they've used it already. This is the fire prism of the AI, so don't expect it to last very long. 2 to one cap for blue. 11 to 11. There is Angels of Death. Chaos Terminators of Claw are really low. Claw has floated resources like crazy again. They're going to get the cap, I believe. There's a single for red. I think that's going to be enough, you know. We need to get right onto this. Here's the single. There's just too many Terminators here. They can cap it. You just can't kill them all. And red team take it at the end with a single cap and four VPs. Maybe if Claw got something up, maybe it would have made a difference. Maybe not. The drop was so unfortunate. I feel like blue team would have had it. If Draktan was still playing, Rambo had nothing. I think they would have got it. But red team still had to work hard for that win at the end. Level 9 Plague Champion. We had a level 8 Farseer. Somehow, look at this what the AI did. The AI unequipped her gravity blade. The AI can do stuff with Wargear that you can't do. Some weird stuff. And it's now re-equipping it. Level 8 Warlock. Had a level 9 Force Commander. Level 10 Apothecary from Overtly Generous. And a level 8 Apothecary from Paranoid. There you have it guys. The drop at the end sucked. But was still a hell of a game. Super interesting. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.